Hello parents and future innovators. Welcome to Precision Playthings. Today we are going to go ahead and unbox a Mechanics Level 1 kit from Zephyr. These are considered as STEM toys and could be called as educational toys as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox it and start building. So first let's go ahead and unbox this. We do get the instruction manual like with any other mechanics build. We will go ahead and build this race car today. So we do get the required tools like the screwdriver and the wrench and the rest of the parts required for the build is neatly arranged inside the box. So let's keep it aside and open the manual to go ahead with the step by step process. We will go ahead and build this race car over here. So let's start with step one of building the model. So these are the pieces required for step one. So let's start building. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up as this piece goes onto the frame over here. It needs to be a little bit tighter and sturdier. It goes over here at the fourth hole. As this part is quite long enough, it does go ahead and easily bend. But I think it isn't that easy to go ahead and screw a nut and bolt over here. But it's not impossible. There is some level of dexterity to it that makes these kits quite interesting to go ahead and build and play with. So step one is complete. Let's go ahead and start with step two. So these are the required pieces for step two. Step 2 is complete, we are moving now to step 3. So now to step 4. So these are the required pieces for step 4. Okay, the rear wing section is complete.
Step 4 is complete. Let us move to step 5. Step 5 needs one of these green flexible parts and step 6 needs this blue part. But over here, that is shown as a purple one. Maybe they would have changed uh, the color of the piece. So these are the required pieces for step 5. Okay, step 5 is complete. Let's move to step 6. I'm not completely satisfied with the build over here. As the nut should have been over here, I just moved it a little bit lower. And this doesn't look clean as well. The 6th step requires two pieces of this and a single flexible plastic part. Step 6 is complete. Let me go ahead and tighten up all these loose bolts. Okay, I've gone ahead and tightened up all the bolts. Now to the final step. Okay, the build is complete. I can see this isn't a race car actually. Looks more like a dragster with sleek proportions. Over here you could see the plastic parts getting ripped apart by the metal poles. I could say this isn't a well thought out mechanics build. Over here you could see the race car, a size smaller but looks way more attractive with a lot of colors. This is metal, this is the flexible metal, this yellow color seat. This looks bigger in size but the aesthetics of it is nowhere close to the race car. I could still say this as one of the best mechanics build that I have done. I would give this a 5 star and uh, I would give this only a 2 star. Okay guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you would like the video, give us a like. And if you want to watch more build videos like this of STEM toys, please do subscribe to our channel Precision Playthings and do follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any suggestions for us, please drop a comment. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.